Yo, this is Lex, and this is a guide on Star Pact Wizard. This is the non-Archon version of the build. I recommend this build for people playing Star Pact for the first time, as this is the easiest variant to gear and play. You should have at least 1500 Paragon and almost all ancient items before attempting this build. The guide for the Bazooka variant that uses overlapping Archon stacks is linked below. I also plan on making a reverse Archon Star Pact guide soon. If you're new to Wizard, start with the Viochan Total build that's linked below. The gear revolves around the legacy of Dream's Gem. The other legendary gems are Bane of the Trapped and Esoteric Alteration. This gem can be switched to Zay's Stone of Vengeance for more damage. For channeling damage, we use Mantle of Channeling, Death Wish, and Et Sigil. For Meteor damage, we use the Grand Vizier and Nilfor's Boast. Squirt's Necklace provides damage if you're shielded by a support monk. Convention of Elements is used for arcane damage. Swampland Waiters is a Witch Doctor item. For defense, we use a Coil of Chest, Ancient Parthion Defenders, Halo of Karini, and Stone Gauntlets. These gloves are a Strength Class item. Strong Arm Bracers can be swapped in for more damage. The Shame of Dalsir and Velvet Camarel provide resource regen. This helm is optional, but make sure you use a Wizard Hat with max arcane power. Illusory Boots keep you from getting stuck. The Flavor of Time is optional in the cube. You can also cube Convention of Elements or Halo of Karini and wear any ring with good stats. The Compass Rose can provide an extra stat roll. Stone of Jordan can provide arcane damage and max arcane power. Oculus Ring can provide an extra damage circle. For stats, prioritize crit chance, crit damage, area damage, arcane damage, and meteor damage. Attack speed and cooldown reduction are not needed. Moving on to skills, Meteor Star Pact is the main damage dealer. Black Hole Spell Steal and Wave of Force Arcane Attunement are used to stack damage and density. Electrocute Surge of Power is the generator. Disintegrate Intensify activates the channeling buffs. Storm Armor Scramble activates Halo of Karini's defense. Arcane Dynamo, Astral Presence, and Audacity are used for more damage. Galvanizing Ward is extra shielding to protect Squirt's damage buff. In Paragon, make sure you have maximum arcane damage and area damage. You can put points into Vitality until you have about 800,000 health for a bigger Galvanizing Ward. This D3 planner is linked in the description below. Let's practice the Star Pack timing in town. After casting Star Pact, it takes 1.25 seconds for the Meteor to hit the ground. During this time, you will need to cast Electrocute 3 times and then hold down Disintegrate. Practice doing this rotation of Star Pact, free Electrocutes, and Disintegrate, making sure the channeling is started before the Meteor lands. You can stop channeling after the Meteor hits the ground. Let's just jump into a level 139 Greater Rift. In Season 19, you can rely on the Pandemonium theme to clear higher Greater Rifts. Start by casting Electrocute until you have 3 to 4 Arcane Dynamo stacks. One second into the Lightning phase of Convention of Elements, cast Black Hole Intensity, followed by Wave of Force. Continue to cast Electrocutes until you have 5 Arcane Dynamo stacks. Cast Meteor when you have less than 1 second remaining of Lightning phase. You can fit in 3 to 4 Electrocutes depending on attack speed, before channeling in time for the Meteor landing. I only need to get the kill streak to 50 for the corpse rain. This gets the kill streak to 100 for the tornadoes. For the next meteor, we group up tightly so the 150 kill streak geysers can kill three elites. Let's go over the two arcane meteor rotation. Prepare with black hole, wave of force, and five stacks of arcane dynamo as usual. The first meteor needs to be casted as early as possible, around 1 second remaining of the lightning phase. Continue the rotation with the electrocutes, and channel while the meteor lands early in the arcane phase. After the meteor lands, continue to cast electrocutes. As soon as you have 5 arcane dynamo stacks and full resource, cast another meteor. Finish the second meteor rotation, landing it before the arcane phase is done, while stutter stepping into an oculus ring if available. The holy rain starts at 400 kills, and finishes 2 elite packs. You can also time the angels at 500 kills to spawn with the boss, and put the Rift Guardian killer out of a job. Please like the video if it helped, subscribe for more content, and feel free to stop by the livestream with any questions or comments. Happy slaying!